Hi, so today we are going to be talking about the weather in Utah and we are going to get started right now. Mariah Curla here. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you are here. This channel is literally everything you need to know about eating, working, playing, sleeping, and living in the Salt Lake City, Utah area. If that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below so you don't miss a thing. We hear from people like you all the time who are relocating or looking to move, and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about moving to Utah, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we would love to connect with you. So let's talk about the weather. My mom grew up in Minnesota and actually in the Minneapolis, St. Paul area. And so growing up, they were always talking about the weather. And whenever we, I would go back there every single summer and I'd visit my grandparents back there with my, with my family. And I always remember every single night without fail, my grandmother would turn on the TV and we would watch the weather channel. And I thought it was fabulous. I thought it was the most fun thing because the weather in Minneapolis was very, I don't want to say unpredictable because it was, but it wasn't. So, you know, it could be a summer day and you thunderstorms might roll through or hail might come through. And for me, I grew up in Northern California and about the most exciting thing we had, I was, I grew up in a tiny, tiny little town called Katati, California. And the next biggest city is Rohnert Park. And then from there is Santa Rosa. We were about 45 minutes north of San Francisco. So for me, it, you know, the most exciting thing we got was rain. I don't even ever remember it snowing once. I don't remember hail. I don't remember any of that. Maybe a windy day that was exciting too. But the most excitement we ended up getting was a hot summer day or some rain. So when I would go visit my grandparents in Minneapolis and we would wake up and it's hot and humid. And then later on the afternoon, there's a hailstorm or tornado warnings or something like that. We as kids thought it was the best thing ever. So when my family and I moved here to Utah a few years ago from Southern California, we, when we were in Southern California, it was, you know, if it got above 70 degrees or below 70 degrees, the people there would complain. It was like, oh man, I have to put a jacket on or, oh man, it's too hot or too cold and it's going up a degree or two. So when we moved here to Utah, I never really thought about the weather too much to be perfectly honest. And the first time I lived in Utah was when my, my husband was finishing up grad school out here at Brigham Young University. So when he was finishing up, we had just gotten married that summer before. And I, you know, I came with my couple jackets and t-shirts and shorts, and I really didn't have much in the way of snow gear. So I remember that first year that we lived here while he was finishing up school, I was cold. I was cold because we were living in a little apartment. We didn't have a garage. We were having to shovel the, you know, snow off of our windshield. I was not used to any of that, but it was a good learning experience. But honestly, I was like, okay, this is a little bit too cold for me. So we need to find somewhere warmer. So originally we thought, oh, let's go to Northern California, or, but we ended up taking a job in Southern California. So that was great. Well, fast forward, we found ourselves coming out here to Utah every single summer once we had kids and even before that. And we would spend a week and then a week turned into two weeks and three weeks and four weeks and so forth. And then none of us ever wanted to leave. So we fell in love with Utah summers that look just like this. They are picture perfect. The mountains are green. You can still see a little bit of snow capped on some of the mountains, but it just is beautiful. There's wildflowers everywhere. The A lot of the streams and the reservoirs just have so much water. The trails are open and people are hiking and biking and doing all the things outdoorsy, which my family and I absolutely love. So when we, when we ended up moving here, yes, we had a couple of jackets, but we really didn't think much about the weather here in Utah. Well, 
I have those, those days of watching the weather channel at my grandma's house in Minnesota. I have found myself doing the exact same thing here in Utah. So currently I am right now in Alpine, Utah. Alpine, Utah is about 30 minutes south of Salt Lake City. And it's about, it's a little bit southeast. It's more of on, on the east bench. If you're in Utah County, it's, you know, the northeast part of Utah County. At any rate, in this Alpine area, the weather. Now, let's talk about this right now. If This is a 70 degree, beautiful, sunny um, beautiful sunny day. The mornings here in Utah, typically, especially in the summer, you're going to have, you know, kind of cooler, crisper mornings. And then usually the, you know, the evening, afternoon, it's going to get warm. And we're talking like 90s, like pretty much, you know, 90, 95, but it is not uncommon. And yesterday, for example, it's not uncommon for a storm to just come through and take it down the temperature down 20 degrees. So for example, yesterday it had been, uh, it was so cold, it dropped 20 degrees. So this week we had had weather that was like in the eighties in, you know, mid eighties or so a storm blew through. We had heavy rain for, I don't know, maybe 10 hours off and on. And then it cleared out, it blew, blew all the way, <laughs> blew it all away. And now it's 75 and sunny again. So it's not uncommon to have a very, very hot day and then, or followed by a couple of consecutive hot days. And then the, you know, a storm will blow through. You'll have a thunderstorm, which of course my kids think is so fun because we did not get thunderstorms in San Diego. Very well, I should say very rarely did we ever get a thunderstorm in San Diego. So my kids, anytime it happens, they're like, oh my goodness, this is so fun. And at any rate, then of course the hot chocolate has to come out and you know, we, we do all the fun stuff, but having, you know, having that being said, you're going to have storms that blow through now with summers. Yes. And then hot days, cooler mornings, storms blow through here and there. Um, but typically you're going to see July, August, September are going to be your warmest months here in Utah, especially Alpine, Utah and Alpine compared to Provo, Utah. Let's talk about Provo, Utah for just a minute. And the weather that you're going to see in Provo, for example, so when my husband was finishing up school there, when we were living there, when it would snow in the winter, it was what people call like a very dry, because it's a dry state and the climate's very dry, that snow in Provo, it doesn't stick very long. So even though you can get a lot of snow, it typically doesn't stick for that long. And whereas if you're up here in, um, the Highland Alpine area and the weather it's that snow is because you're at a higher elevation, that snow is going to stick and it's going to stick longer. So if you're thinking like, Oh, you know, I think about moving to Utah, but I actually really don't love a ton of snow. Then you're going to want to be in certain areas than others. You're for example, if you go over to Heber and Park City, because those are higher elevations too, it's going to be colder during the winter. And um, because of that, you are going to a lot of times have more snow up there too, and it's going to stick longer. So even in Draper, so in Draper, because that's higher up, there's an area called Suncrest. And in Suncrest, you can be in the Highland Alpine Lehigh area and it could, this, this has actually happened before. Um, I have driven my kids, my kids go, we go over to Draper often, but we were in the Highland Alpine area and I drove my kids over to Draper up to Suncrest. And because again, the elevation's higher, it was during the winter and the snow banks were so high. It was packed. And in some of the areas in Highland, there wasn't any snow on the ground. And so it just depends where you are. The views up in, you know, up in Draper and some of those are spectacular. So it really just depends on where you want to live, what you want the weather to be like. And then speaking of weather here in Utah, I know tons of people here that will actually stay here in the Salt Lake City, Utah area and the Utah County, Wasatch County. They'll spend their summers here 
because the Utah summers here are, are just like this, right? But during the winter time, many people go down to St. George, Utah. And St. George from the Salt Lake City area is about three and a half hours south. So St. George is south, Salt Lake City is north of that. And people will go down to St. George for the winters. I know a bunch of people that have second homes down in St. George as investment properties or vacation rentals or just a second home um, because they want to beat those cold winters. They're, they're done shoveling their driveways. There's no more snow plowing. They're done with that. And in St. George, the weather during the winter months is going to be much, much warmer. We've taken our family down to Zion and all of that and have done that during the winter time. And we have had an absolute great, great time. And then there is this role reversal where in the summer times, because St. George gets very hot, it's not uncommon to have kind of like Arizona weather or um, Las Vegas, where you're gonna have 100 degree days in St. George. And because of that, a lot of the people that are in St. George during the summer, they don't want to beat the heat in 100 degrees. So they're going to come back up here to Utah County, to Salt Lake City areas, um, because you're going to, you know, enjoy the 70 degree weather. So that's kind of what I have experienced living here. The coldest months typically are going to be December, January, February. And then usually, you know, by March and April, it starts heating up a little bit. And, but it's not uncommon and nobody ever really told me this. I feel like there's what we call fake spring here. So fake spring, all of a sudden it's like, ah, it's April and you're putting away your snow clothes. You're put, you know, the ski resorts are starting to close down. And speaking of skiing, usually most of, you know, the ski resorts here in Utah, they will close their snow skiing and snowboarding and that in April. They do leave the ski resorts open for dining and for other, you know, mountain biking and those things, but actually like the snow and the ski part, that usually ends somewhere around mid-April depending on the season. But um, when I remember like one of the first years that we lived here, it was April. I packed up all the kids' boots and put the jackets away and did all that. And then in May, we had like a two day snowstorm where it wasn't, it wasn't bad, but, and it was, it didn't stick too much, but all of a sudden it's snowing. I'm still driving the kids to school and they're like, what is this? This is so funny. So don't be surprised if you start planting your garden. And this is what they say too. Don't plant your garden here in Utah. Um, before, like usually May, what do they say? I think it's like right around May 30th, Memorial Day. They say, don't plant your garden before May 30th because you're gonna probably lose most of it. So at any rate, those are just some things that I have noticed about the weather here in Utah. And then last but not least, it can get windy. The wind really, really picks up here in Utah. And there are certain areas of Utah that are windier than others and certain neighborhoods. And just because of the location of different canyons and the way, you know, the way the terrain is. So if you're thinking about making a move or relocating here to Utah, please feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email so I can help find you a place that either has a lot of snow or doesn't have a lot of snow or has more mild climate or more temperate or, you know, whatever it is. I know personally, my mom, the hotter it is, the better. So she would love St. George because she loves that hot um, climate. She's not a huge fan of the snow. So knowing that she'd probably be great in St. George. So it is. And if you are thinking about making a move to Utah, feel free to give me a call. Take care.